Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be just doing a simple little fix. When I was doing the poly bushes on the wishbones, I pulled the drive shaft a bit too hard when I was putting the lower ball joint back in, and I popped the CV boot off on the inner side of it, which caused all the grease from inside it to come out, made a huge mess. So what I'm doing today is basically doing a quick fix, just to get me out of a sticky wicket, and uh, I'm going to be cleaning it all up, putting some more grease in there, and putting it back on, and... I will be ordering some more parts to actually do a proper job on this but if you like the videos considering that like button or even dislike button don't matter what uh, preferably a thumbs up and considering the subscribe button to follow along with all the other videos I've done so let's just flip the camera and show you what I'm doing okay so what's happened is the CV boot here has popped how, the reason why it's popped and how it's popped is when I was putting the new wishbone in with these poly bushes I was I pulled on the knuckle here on the drive shaft to put the ball joint in and it's pulled everything out it's popped all the, the boot here which has caused all the grease from inside to go everywhere it's all down the back in there and here so I've got to give this a real good clean now once it's had a good clean, I'm going to take, leave the boot on there because there's no splits in it. I'm going to slide the boot down the shaft, clean out all the cup inside here, repack it with some lift molly grease, this stuff here. Okay. And then once I've done that, I'm going to clean the boot up, push it back on, and then use some zip ties at the back and at the front. Now, a lot of people have used zip ties before and had no problems. So I'm going to do the same thing for this as a temporary fix for now. And then in the new year, I will get some proper like clips and put them in. So I'm just going to set the camera up, give this a good clean, repack the grease and uh, go from there. Okay, so as you can see, I've cleaned a lot of it up as much as I can. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this boot should just slide down quite nicely. Uh, probably spill a lot more gunk, but there's not as much as what there was. So, bit of blue rag in case. can see all the gunk inside and old grease. There we go. <laughs> So what I'm doing now is I'm 
just cleaning up around the lip where the, the boot actually sits. You just keep going to this as clean as you can actually get it. A lot of people just take this off the car. If you're in a garage, they'd do that. Do it on the car. Yeah, I'd even go to say there's enough grease still in there. Because the amount that fell out, I just want to put a little bit back in, save any knocking and grinding when I'm driving. down a bit and then just wipe inside the boot a little bit and get what you can off that and it was really disgusting Right, and I'm gonna put a drop of grease. Oh, God knows I'm gonna get it in there. But I'm gonna try and put a bit of grease in here. It, it does look like there's plenty in there, but because I've lost some, it's obviously too much. So I'm gonna use some of this stuff that I showed you earlier on. Lith Molly Grease, CV. And this is just as dark as the stuff that's come out of it. I'm not going to use is I'm going to use a paint stirrer. See if this helps. To be honest, I've not done this sort of job before. You can see the colour difference. So maybe I would have been better off. At a later date, I might actually take all this apart and give it a thorough clean. The dry shaft, I will probably be changing at some point in the future. So at that point, I'll probably do something with it. I mean, someone obviously tell me I mean, the package you get with the CV joints and the CV boots ain't all that big, they're about 60 grams or something silly like that. They're not a great deal. But you guys tell me if you've ever done this sort of job before, if this is enough. I mean, it looks plenty. It really does. But because I only lost a little bit, I'm just packing in some fresh grease around. There you go. But you can see the colour difference. Hopefully you can pick it up on the camera. The old gunk and the new stuff. 
So. This was a job that I weren't planning on doing. Because I shouldn't have messed it up. I'd say that's enough. Couple of turns. Okay, so I just had to have a quick stop. Someone turned up to see us. But we're gonna push this gator back over now. I believe that should be enough in there for now. Just the wheel watch and you'll saw where I've got it down to do the other wishbone. Okay, so we want to sit so far, get some more blue rag. Make sure. See the packet when you redo these and you buy a new CV joint everything else new boot and all, all the gear the packet of grease you get with it, it's only about like i say 60 grams it's not very big at all it's just... so it's not a lot of grease gets packed into it now a couple of cable ties on that Uh, these ones ain't going to be big enough for that back one. Damn. I'd have to go and buy some bigger ones. Ideally, you want Jubilee clips. So I'll order some clip, like the original ones that come on there. I've got them here still, but they're quite damaged where they've popped off. Uh, what I'll do is I'll get a special tool and some of these and go from there and replace them properly. Let me move the camera so you can see what I'm actually doing. But like I say, a lot of people just use cable ties. They're a bit greasy. I thought these were going to be long enough. So what I have to do is go and get some bigger cable ties and put them on and because it is Christmas period you know post will be a bit delayed on things but what I will do is I will order some Jubilee clips big enough to put this on properly um, but you see how you know basically I've put my own fault I've popped the, the CV boot off and um, a load of the grease went everywhere uh, I've just literally pulled it back packed it with grease give it a good clean and put it back on so it's just a silly little video, I made a mistake, being a bit heavy handed I guess. So that should be alright for now, get me out of a sticky wicket. So that should get me out of a, a sticky wicket for now, at least I'll be able to drive the vehicle just locally, nothing too major, not thrashing it obviously. A lot of people do it this way because it's just easier, but I'm going to order some proper clips and proper tool to redo it all and um, go from there but this one is just a quick video to show you I made a boo-boo you know where I yanked it out too much popped the CV joint CV boot should I say sorry and all the grease went everywhere so my mistake uh, quick and easy fix it lost some grease so I've repacked it with some grease give it a good clean put it back so I'm going to have to nip out now and get some bigger cable ties and um, in fact I'll have a little butcher's from my toolkit and see what I've got but for now hopefully you guys instead of replacing the whole thing if your boot is okay on these things you can just clean them up and repack them with some cv leon molly grease it's a mouthful um yeah so it's nothing special this one i just thought i weren't going to film it but i thought you know what you guys might be interested in seeing another little thing I'm, i've been doing along the lines so if you like the video hit the subscribe button and the like button at the bottom there 
and leave a comment whether you'd bother doing it like this or how you'd do it. So for now, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye for now.